this video, I'm going to be breaking down the 3-3 three, three odd blitz that is uh, really effective and a great defense, uh, kind of to mix it up here at the end of the year. Now, super simple, def super simple defensive concept here in your coaching adjustments. We're in the Ravens playbook, and your coaching adjustments, what I would recommend is to go ahead and turn your auto flip defensive play call off. Auto alignment is going to be on default. Option defense is going to be on conservative. And then what I like to do with this specific defensive style, we're going to be basing out of a lot of cover three cloud. We are going to go ahead and leave the zone coverage on match so that we can take advantage of those kind of matching, um, those matching outside, outside uh, thirds and stuff like that. All right. Now, as far as your depth chart roster, where you want to put people, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and put super fast guys at the defensive end positions. Just guys that are fast uh, is really what you're looking for at this point in the year. And then this left side guy is going to be kind of your A-gap blitzer. We got Isaiah Simmons there with 99 speed. If you wanted to, you could put a fast safety there as well. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and come out in the play cover through cloud. But specifically, what we're going to do is we're going to flip this play. Now, from there, all you have to do is just blitz this guy on the left-hand side. And what I would do is I would click onto him, and I would drag him over about right here. And we're going to essentially create kind of a crossfire blitz. So you're going to kind of stack him right in here, click off of him once you blitz him, and then essentially you can press and kind of set your coverage up however you like it to be. And what you're going to see is he's going to basically A-gap consistently again and again and again. Now, the cool part about this specific blitz is it's not exactly uh, what we've seen out of the dollar defensive meta where they basically just blitz this guy and he stands kind of out here and he does still come in the A-gap that way. But this is better because you're getting the crossfire technique. And the reason the crossfire technique is so good is because at this, so you see here, if I move him too far, he will go in this gap. I want him to be just, just on the opposite side of the nose tackle. And then again, I'm going to be standing about right here with my user. The reason this is good is it's also really good against the run. He's going to kind of shoot in and funnel the run to the outside. The other thing that's really cool is you can still use your slot corner. We'll come back to him in just a minute. But what you'll see again here is this just gets into a really muddy spot for them to consistently pick up. Now, another thing that's really interesting to me about this specific defense is, again, so you see here, I click onto him. I'm just going to bring him over like so, blitz him, and then I click off, and I'm back to be able to do my adjustments. Now, that was really important. If you bring him down too far, he'll reset. So you don't want to bring him down. You just want to bring him across. So, again, we're just kind of creating manually the crossfire element of the blitz. And then from there, you're pretty much good. So, again... Let's show it again. This time we block a running back. And as you see that time, we're actually able to pick up the pressure. But this pressure will not get picked up every single time by any means. Another thing that you can do uh, that kind of can make this pressure, I think, a little bit better is to go ahead and contain uh, QB contain. It's going to widen out that blitz angle on the left-hand side, which is going to create more A-gap space for him to come through. And it can also create kind of some disengages for that defensive end on the left hand side of the screen you could also go ahead and try to crash your line to the right and get a little bit more of a sharper stunt here but essentially you know this is this is essentially the the concept and again this is just essentially crossfire and i love this blitz i've loved this blitz for years it's just a different way to run it the way that i used to be running it was out of lb crossfire and i'll show you what i'm actually talking about here so the way that this blitz used to work is you would want to run this out of LB cross three show two, and you could go ahead and flip it. And I'll show you, this probably actually will work. So what you would essentially do here, so you see how he's, see how he's, he's kind of the A-gap blitzer here. So all I would do is crash to the right, and then I would just stand right here, and you see we're kind of getting that same idea. We're just getting that crossfire coming through that left side A-gap. And as you can see, it still works, still works fine. Um, but the cool part about cover three cloud specifically is it's a little bit better because for a couple different reasons. One of the reasons it's a little bit better is just because you have a better coverage behind it. Another reason is it's uh, more versatile, can be ran out of more things. But again, the main reason this blitz is really good right now is because we're specifically blitzing through that left side A-gap. That is the important thing. Now, another cool feature you could do if you wanted to is you could audible. Let's say you want to come out in this play and you want to audible, and then you just blitz this guy right here. Now he's super close to the line of scrimmage. And a lot of times it'll make that A-gap just a little bit quicker, something to kind of, you know, experiment with. But again, if you wanted to run this out of LB cross show two, all you would do is just crash your line to the right and you grab this guy and essentially stand right here. And you would get really basically the same idea, same concept that we were just talking about from cover three cloud. 
Now, another thing that you can do with this defense that I did want to go over is some of the coverage options that you have and why it is effective, as well as some of the other ways in which you can kind of set some audibles to create some pressure. So one of the things we can do is we can go in here and put the overload three press in our audibles. We can put the, if I can find it, the hot blitz three. And then if you have the play pinch, if you want cover on robber, you can certainly have that. Or you could, you know, put something else in there, whatever you want to do, the nickel two trap with the with the slot corner. But anyway, the idea here, or I'm sorry, not the, not the nickel two trap, the Sam, where's that? Sam Mike three press. Okay. So again, we're coming out in cover three cloud flipped every single time. Uh, that just gives us the best, most versatile coverage to be able to adjust out of within the formation. You could do this out of really anything. It's just, again, we're doing this for coverage. That's what's really cool about this specific one because you can just blitz this guy and he's always going to stay right there and you just drag him this direction like so and it becomes very difficult for them to kind of pick this blitz up. And we'll show it to you here. As you see, super clean. Super clean and get heat if they send five out. And then the other thing that you can, can kind of do from time to time is because this guy on the left side is blitzing, go ahead and bluff blitz him. You're going to see it's going to become a three wreck, one of the glitchiest zones in Madden every single year. And you've basically got the same idea. The crossfire concept has been built. And then from there, as you see, you can sometimes get this little four-man A-gap, just like you would out of like a dollar-style uh, defense or something like that. Again, we'll do that one more time. Let me kind of back. Again, the placement is kind of everything. You want them a little bit more back, and again, you're trying to kind of trigger that whole idea of a crossfire method. So there, that was pretty perfect, almost. Almost got that pressure in. But you see that if they send the running back out, that bluff blitz is going to man up onto the running back. Now, what if they were flipped? What if their formation was flipped? Okay, it's really the same principle. You would just basically be pressed here. You might have – the cool part about this formation is you can move these linebackers. So, again, you can kind of stack – Stack this guy kind of wherever you want him here. And as you can see, you're creating kind of the same basic pressure concept behind it. Now, what can you do when they start to block running back or they start to adjust to your, your, your method here? What I would do is go ahead and audible to either hot blitz or pinch. And now we're going to send the slot corner. So what a lot of times is going to happen is they're going to slide or they're going to double team this guy. They're going to block this guy. Now we just send the slot corner off the right and – it kind of changes the, the pickup. It changes the pressure variation. It changes what they have to do uh, to pick this up. Another thing that you could do, let's say you're pressing out of cover three cloud every play, go ahead and just blitz the slot corner on the right, and then you can go ahead and do a coverage You know that basically looks essentially like this. This is kind of the same idea. And again, if they're double teaming, blocking this guy, ID in or something like that, this can really free up that slot corner to kind of come in and cause a little bit of havoc on your opponent. Another method that you can do that I actually really like is the Sam Mike three press. The reason I like this is because again, you're gonna be dragging this guy, but now you're gonna get a little bit more of a delay in his loop. And as you can see, he's gonna go a little bit more around the edge, which can open up some other you know, ways to create pressure. All in all, I think this is one of the better defenses in the game right now because of all of the things we can do from that. And then every now and then we can go ahead and just you know cross man him and just send you know three if we wanted to. What I would do if I was going to send three is go ahead and crash down, and then I would probably drop this guy on the left in a vert hook because we have lurk artists on him. And as you can see, now we're in a maximum coverage defense, and they can't really threaten us with the tight end. So this is a, a nice little kind of different style defense uh, to run as the year is progressing. Super effective little blitzing concept out of 335 odd. If you want to learn how to get better on defense, offense, whatever in Madden, Join the Patreon. That's where I get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. Link is down in the description below.